Hey everybody, it's BC here. We're back with another episode of Astro Colony. I am just up at this little uh, planet over here. I was grabbing some iron. I figured I'd grab some dirt while I'm here because uh, it's really easy to underestimate how much dirt you actually need in this game for research. And uh, 20 dirt for one research point point isn't very uh, isn't really efficient. You need a lot of it. You need a lot of research points. And I took about half of this thing out. And how much dirt did I get? 400. So it's not plentiful uh, also a big thank you to peter for mentioning about the recyclables window here i never actually noticed that uh, i did not realize when you take stuff apart that it actually stays in a recyclable form you don't get the materials back you get the part back so next time i go and build that part uh, i didn't actually notice this in my other playthrough uh, you can see the little recycling symbol down in the window there that means i actually have one in my recyclable so i can reuse the parts so that comes in handy for like uh blueprinting and stuff like that and i've been uh well i've been working away at this as i normally do when i'm doing uh, uh mind i mean monotonous tasks is i have been doing some thinking about what i want to do here and i've been thinking about uh, different mechanics in the game and uh how they could be used in other ways and I might want to, I'm actually going to try that, I've been uh, thinking about, like I know all the different mechanics in the game, this just happens to be one of them here, and I've been getting the ideas with that, but what I want to do is I just want to get some automation going, now I have been extremely busy, as uh, you can see in the tech window, I have 140, 140 science, yeah, 140 basic science, I've been producing uh, the engineering science, so I want to unlock some stuff. Uh, I'm not going to worry about this because, eh, don't really need it. I do want to get logistics to go, though, get that. I want to get a splitter set up, so we'll do that. Uh, scanning will come in handy. I do have research points for that. We'll do that. Uh, hydrogen. I don't know if we actually need it right now. Uh, probably get the robotics while we're at it, and i got seven points left. Oh, yes. We're going to need that. And that should be good for now. So I want to basically get like a, a mining asteroid farm going here. And, you know, get some like, like actual automation going. Uh, as far as the floor plan, let's actually see what we have available here. I've never really looked at what kind of different floors they have. I have seen them. I do like the glass floor, but uh, I don't know if I want to go with that. I like the, the chain link fence. That's actually an interesting idea. Hmm. I do like the this one here that I got down here. It's sort of like a carbon fiber, almost like a, a siding. I think I might actually just stay with that for now. I can always change it later. So I'm going to get a bit of a row here. And uh, I did want to actually check the power requirements on this thing here. And I believe the, the auto catcher is the same amount. I turn it on. Uh, does it not say, oh, I got to catch an asteroid with it first. Get out, and then it'll tell me how much power it uses. Two. So in one generator, I could get two of these running. Okay, and what does the smelter use? Uh, let's smelt something to find out. Uh, oh, something's going in right now. Three. So what I'm trying to think about is... I want to have one doing one of each type, so one for iron, one for iron, iron, copper, carbon, and ice. Like sort of branches coming off of here. And I want to use, uh, auto, of course, use the auto collectors, have them all conveyed into going to smelters and then to a container. And I've been, I have looked at this, uh, where is it here? It's base warehouse. Now it says I can use them directly when it's constructed. Does that mean, I'm not too sure. I tried using this and it doesn't seem to be like a wireless, it just seems to be a bulk storage, but I do like the, the idea of being able to be able to see the products that are in there. But it doesn't show you everything, of course. Uh, anyway, uh, let me get a plan here set up and I'll bring you back with what I got. Okay, with a better uh, realization of how much iron I was actually going to need, I am back. What isn't back is that my planetoid I was mining is completely gone. I also have a lot of dirt from it. For now. Uh, anyway, so this is the setup I'm going to have right now. I'm going to try to get, uh, this is going to be for the iron. I haven't got anything set up yet. I had to sort of change things about, around a bit. I was having space issues here. But what's going to happen is uh, these are going to be all set to have this row to an iron. And uh, I'm going to let these guys produce iron. Any excess, uh, any carpet that goes through goes in the smelter anyways. Uh, the carbon, 
I have a pusher here, and what the pusher will do is any object that passes along that sec uh, that logic block, it will actually push it over in the direction of the arrows on the on the block. So in this case, if it's carbon, it pushes carbon that way over into the smelter. Uh, this smelter is connected to these devices. It is actually enough to power all three, including the smelter. Uh, it is also going to be hooked up to a grid with the other three rows. So what all I need to do now is I need to get some carbon in here and get this fired up. And then uh, I'm going to let that produce while... Uh, let's actually take half of it out for now. So I'm a little horse in the throat right now. Alright, so that's, that's going to do its thing. It's going to be auto-producing. It's going to be checked out in the conveyor belts and uh, should keep itself self-sustaining. I'm going to let it go until it produces enough iron where I can get the uh, the copper section and then the, the carbon section. And then, of course, there's going to be an ice section down here. And this will be just passive generation. Of, it seems like it's a lot, but in, in the long run, it's not. And there goes the carbon. I actually enjoy the logic blocks. Uh, it's kind of a shame that you have to unlock the splitter in a second second uh, research. Like in the logic blocks, you get a blocker, which prevents block, uh, items. Filter. Uh, I've really figured out what that does. I don't know if that only allows certain things to go through or or what. And then splitter. And that's pretty much it for the lo uh, logic blocks. But I'm going to let this go, and I will bring you back when we've got the rest of it done. Oh, well, this is interesting. I was actually wondering about that because I knew that this one only uses uh, 2 kilowatts. This is using 4, so the efficiency is a little low. Uh, I think that'll be fine for now because once I get the, the, the carbon line set up, the carbon line's not going to have a, a smelter. It's going to have a second second or even a third generator, so it's going to be more or less the power plant at this end. I have worked out the math, and the smelter is actually able to keep up with this capacity as far as I'm aware. It does seem to be doing its thing. Oh, same thing. Oh, that's why. I forgot I had moved it, so I didn't actually get power. Oh, then uh, recycle these. Now oh, it's working. That does have a pretty good, pretty good speed at sixty-six efficiency. It does seem to manage to keep up with these things. Uh, anyways, I shall return. Okay, well, after about another hour, I am finally done. I managed to get everything set up. Uh, this was starting to chug along pretty good. I was starting to have power issues, but uh, let me show you what I got here. So this is going to be the, the, the iron line. This is just, like I said, this is going to be passive stuff. I've already used everything I produced just to finish up here. So this is iron. This is copper. Um, majority of copper. We're getting some iron, some gold, some ice in there. Uh, that's all going to be filtered out eventually. Uh, here I've got the ice production, which is going straight into an ice crusher, into a big holding tank here for, of water. Uh, so yeah, and then what I'm doing for logic is uh, on this side I have the like I said I have the pushers pushing into the pushing carbon into the generators, which aren't really holding up. It's not producing enough, so I might end up switching one of these over, like one on each sa side to uh, carbon. Uh, this one here is producing ice as well. It is also getting carbon. I might be get set up another generator, or even try to find a way to get it from hot, from this line over into these furnaces or generators. Now these are actually holding up, and they're actually doing really good. I was kind of curious about the the capacity of these three. And originally I had three here, and they were filling up pretty good, so I. Uh, set it up with four, and what I'm doing is I've got a got them coming down here. Uh, the pusher is pushing the, tr the carbon this way, and everything else, the ice and the ores over to the smelter over there. Same with the ice over there. So pushing the ice and let everything else go through. And then I got a splitter going here to these two, and then these two splitters go over there to get proper even distribution. Now I actually like these splitters; they're actually configurable. You can actually choose the ratios that everything goes. So if you want. Let's say one going left, one going right, and six going forward, it'll do that. So that's actually really handy, and at the same time, too, it'll also ration specific or uh, products that you're pumping through. So that's pretty handy, but I'm looking at this now, and I think... I might actually be able to get two more on here. So that is uh, something for a future episode, I think. is uh, not really long on the episode, but man, I have been busy. 
Uh, what I do want to do is actually try to get one to do a storage, and I think I might go ahead with this, um, this warehouse. Uh, it is a bit of a bigger block and all that. Uh, where is it here? I need iron rods for that. Do I even have iron rods researched yet? Uh, where are they? I do. Alright, unfortunately I don't think I can actually make them by hand, can I? No, I can't. So what do I need for that? Uh, hmm. I believe... It wasn't... The, oh, was it the advanced smelter? Oh, no. It was actually the smelter itself. I believe there was a recipe in here. Yes, plates and carbon. I uh, should have carbon in here. Okay, let's use this one. Uh, just throw them all in there. Whatever, half a stack. Oh, and I do have to turn the recipe on. I don't know why you would have to turn the recipes on or off, because I don't think anything else would combine with each other. It really should just be on at all times. Uh, I also have to explore the platform a little bit. Uh, I don't really know if I decided where I was going to go. I was going to sort of like try to branch off different areas of this section here, but I don't think that's gonna, really going to work too well. Uh, but this will be sort of a feature for what I have planned down the road. But anyways, what do I have for plates here? Not much. Uh, since everything is going to be over here, I think I'm going to place over here for now. Uh, what was it? A 5x5? Five five? I didn't want to put place there. I hate that sound. Uh, fortunately, I can actually move stuff. I don't want to put it over here so it sort of lines up with that. Alright, now... I believe, what was the other one I needed? Uh, copper plates for it, yes. And copper plates requires me actually having copper on me. Actually, no, it requires uh, a constructor. Oh my god. Let me get into production already. Uh, where is your device? Constructor which needs copper. I have copper. Now, where do I put it? Um, hmm. Hmm put it over here for now. Now that I know I can actually move things. Uh, let's see where can I get power here. Sure, I got lots of wire. I'll just come off of here. I don't think I really have much for carbon at this end here. Oh, that's not what I want to do. I want to open it. Yes, open it. Alright, let's uh, throw that in there and get these plates going. Alright, grab a little bit more iron so I can get more iron, iron plates going. And there's the rods, I'll take that out. Okay. And, oh, that's the wrong way. I, I keep doing that. Sometimes I'll do, like I said, I think I mentioned that already. I'll go to two machines and I'll go into one machine, I'll take from the, the right and I'll go to the other machine, and I'll take from the left for some reason, or vice versa, take from the left. And then I'll put it into the other machine instead of taking it out. But. That should be my plates. So now we can go ahead and build this thing. Uh, like so. This behemoth. And any conveyors. Hmm. Okay. Do I have enough? I might actually. Oh, that's kind of stupid. Can I change the ports on this? I can. This is actually a feature I like with uh, all the machines. I think I can do it with the smelters too. Uh, you can actually change the ports. So it'll switch all the inputs, the outputs, and all the outputs, the inputs, which uh, actually comes in handy with the conveyor, conveyor belt to transport pipe adapter because it took me a while to figure it out. But anyway, uh, let's go ahead and conveyor. Thank you. Uh, that's going the right way. We'll just do that for now. And then I'm going the right way. And I actually, you know, the, the models in this game are actually quite amazing. I can actually watch this stuff go in, into the storage, watch the ice go in, and the gold bars, and all the other cool little, cool little things, which isn't bad, but yeah, I noticed that it'll show at full capacity when you only got like one row or two rows in here. Uh, I'd imagine this is the actual storage space. I don't know what the stack limit is, and I've seen close to 2,000, so... Kind of makes me wonder. 
Hmm. Methinks I'm gonna need a better conveyor belt. I think it'd be fine. Just getting all the access out. All right. Well, what we can do now is uh, let's get some more research going and unlock some more stuff and continue on. Uh, oh, that's not what I want to do. What I do, what I should do actually, is uh, open up my, uh, hit the right button for one and turn my inventory crafting off. All right. Uh, research. Let's go get some more research going here and do some unlocking. I only got three engineering at the moment. Uh, like I said, if I leave the, the the harpoon connector, I'll have to get this eventually. So I'm also get that now. Uh, manufacturing. Plates into wires. Oh, I'll need that eventually. That's four. Uh, I was hoping to get this right now, but that's not going to happen anytime soon. And I'll have to unlock this eventually. <laughs> So, uh, let me generate some engineering science points, and I will be back. Okay, I believe we have enough to get going here, so let's see what we can do. Uh, first, we're going to unlock the engines. Uh, I haven't... I have mess, sort of messed around with them. But, uh, they could be interesting. I don't think I can really do much with that until I get... Where is it here? Unless I unlocked it already, and I don't think I have... Oh, a long ways away. Uh, the control panel now actually allows me to uh, fly the <laughs> fly the station like a ship, but I can actually put engines on it, and the engines will actually, or uh, thrusters, I should say, will actually push the whole platform in that direction. I was <laughs> messing around with it. I put put one on there. I was looking, just looking at how small it was, and I. I saw my spacecraft was drifting away, and I realized, oh wait, I'm moving the whole thing. So that was actually quite interesting. So we might be able to move this thing. I don't know if we can go vertical or stuff like that, but we'll figure that out in the meantime. Uh, anyways, uh, back to the research. Uh, we're going to have to get that, so we'll get manufacturing. Uh, docking, I do have some ideas for that. I do, I don't know where I have, where I have how it's going to work. We've got 12 points left, or 31. Let's see, uh... We won't worry about that at the moment. That takes a lot to get there. I want to actually get to the blueprints uh, for ideas I have. I'm going to get the parts and then let's see here. Hangar we'll need eventually. I did actually use the rover. I don't know if that's for like driving around the base or if you really even need it on the planetoids because realistically the jetpack is good enough. Uh, we're going to have to get into colonization too. We're called astronauts and human migration. We got lots of this basic science. We might as well unlock this because uh, I want to start getting, some, you know, start needing colonists to start getting uh, the next stage of research, which just happens to be here. So, you may as well. Uh, we'll leave that for now. Uh, advanced mining. Uh, it was mentioned that the the actual drills are better than the the drones. Uh, yeah, the, you know, the, the drones, you can leave them on a planetoid for a week and they'll just mine everything until they run out of power. Whereas uh, the drills, they'll just mine a certain area and you actually have to pick it up and move it. But I was using the drones because I wasn't aware that I could actually pick up, the, pick up the machines and actually keep it in my uh, recyclables area here. I thought that it was actually destroyed and you had to go through the whole recycling research to actually be able to recycle parts and get stuff back. But anyways... Uh, so, yeah, I guess, uh, oh, we gotta get that into the advanced smelter, which we don't need at the moment. Uh, don't really need that either. Oh, I'm also getting to colonization, because I'm gonna need it. Advanced docking, I haven't gotten to that yet, like I said. So we got four points left. Don't think I can do anything with those four points. Uh, no. Anyway, uh, enough rambling. Uh, I'm going to do ooh, geez, a little bit of off-camera stuff and let uh, resources pile up. We are starting to generate a good amount, but, you know, not going to last long. Uh, also did uh, realize what the actual filters are for. The filters are, you put them on the ends of the, the outputs on the, for instance, the warehouse here, and it will only allow a certain item coming out of that port. So, yay, I figured something out. Anyway, um, 
yeah, a good place to call it. Uh, next episode, we'll try to get into uh, like some uh, mass production of wiring and plates and stuff like that. Maybe even look at getting into some off-station mining. But anyways, I uh, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget, don't forget to leave me a like. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Later. Well, that doesn't look right. Hope it's you, friend. <laughs>